Welcome to Monday, the 27th day of February 2023, your day weather podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily and also being brought to you by YDOT. As we get a new week started and as we leave February, what's it look like as we go into March? Well, about as what you'd expect March to be. We're going to have some very windy areas today, especially across parts of Wyoming and the higher elevations of Colorado. Had some horrendous winds down in New Mexico and parts of West Texas over the weekend as the storm went across the Southern Plains, although some areas of the Southern Plains also did get some badly needed moisture. So do be ready for windy conditions, but the winds are moist coming in from the Southwest. Low pressure off the West Coast is gonna to continue to bring a moisture flow. So what'll happen is the high country for most of this week is gonna have off and on snow. This pattern really favors the high country and areas west of the divide more than east of the divide. So across the plains, yes, we're gonna have some snow showers at times, but we don't expect anything really heavy. But the high country and the snowpack will continue to get more snow. This is gonna to lead to kind of a roller coaster temperature pattern. Temperatures will be up one day, down the next. We did have a really nice warm up, a nice Chinook in many areas over the weekend. But we will see as these systems come through, causing temperatures to be fluctuating. So it's going to be an active pattern across the Pacific. And with that, we'll be fluctuating weather forecast. There's a lot going on in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, this is where we kind of warn you, don't really look past three or four days because the weather forecast is probably going to change as there's a lot going on out in the Pacific and across the higher latitudes. More snowdrift pictures coming on in. Casper, Wyoming, really uh, seeing some significant drifting, especially where the wind direction has just been right with all the snow to really pile up some massive drifts. And uh, the Wasatch of Utah, as we all know, has had an incredible snow pattern this winter and well, more to come this week. Good shot of a snow cornice up there. Avalanche dangers, this is a good opportunity to remind everybody, avalanche dangers are very high across the region and they're gonna continue to be very high. Look how deep that snow cover is in Riverton after these recent storms. They're, they're gonna be staring at that snow here for a little bit longer. Satellite imagery this morning shows a couple things. You can see this area of cloudiness heading into the Midwest. This is the storm that went through Southern California and tracked this way making it very windy across the Southern Plains, but also bringing some really needed rain in parts of Kansas and Oklahoma, severe weather as well, but needed rain. And then we have this swirl of clouds. Here's another storm coming into the Pacific Northwest. And then you see this area right here. This is this moisture coming off the Pacific, heading into the Northern and Central Rockies. It's just gonna be producing some high country snowfall. And you can see there's the low in the upper Midwest. There's the low that's off the coast of Washington and Oregon, and there's that semi-permanent ridge of high pressure there in the Eastern Pacific. And you can see we have a lot of winter weather advisories for the Northern tier back to the West Coast for winter weather conditions here. This is for high wind conditions here and windy conditions here across a large part of the central United States with that storm system moving on through. So you can see by uh, Tuesday afternoon, by tomorrow afternoon, a piece of that low pressure comes off the West Coast and through the Rockies. This will produce mountain snow, especially later tonight and into Tuesday into the mountains of Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado, and Utah. And it will just race on through. And this is a windy pattern and also a cooler pattern for the plains. And you can see what the precipitation looks like. This is through the next 72 hours. So you can see there's definitely a trend for areas along and west of the divide to get the heavier moisture. The exception up here is in the Dakotas, where a little bit of an overrunning situation. Colder air on the ground being overrun by Pacific moisture will be producing some snow up there. And then you can see the rain that fell across parts of the Southern Plains, and of course, more wet weather for California and the Great Basin states. And there you can see the snowfall forecast over the next 72 hours, more feet of snow for the Sierra Nevada. But look at the Wasatch. Look at the Southwest mountains of Colorado. So our snowpack numbers are gonna grow. Also, I wanna show you this right here. See this area right here in Southwestern Wyoming? Well, along and west of the divide, there's gonna be snow showers breaking out along Interstate 80 at times, west of the divide, and that will be a bit of a travel concern. And if we loop all of this, the 500 millibar map, you can see how busy the weather pattern is, starting with where we are now. And we see these systems continuing to come through 
with that larger low by this weekend kind of sitting off the northwest coast. Where that system's going to go by the weekend is a little bit up for debate. Will it stay out there or start to come on in? But you can see that the general trend is for high pressure to just stay here and also up into Greenland and up across the North Atlantic, forcing the weather into the western states, then east across the rest of the nation. So this is going to keep us in a very busy pattern. The 10-day temperature anomaly adding up the next 10 days continues to show that the western United States, the entire west, is going to be colder than average on the whole over the next 10 days. But interdispersed in this 10-day period will be warmer days and colder days. It's going to be kind of up and down as you'd expect as we get into the month of March. Have yourself a good Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.